All right, so I'm gonna be installing some fog lights on my 2015 uh, Acura RDX. As you can see, there is no fog lights. But I will be installing uh, some fog lights, do it yourself. I ordered online. Um, you got the covers, some uh, straps and accessories, this light switch, you gotta change that. Some of the cables and the two fog lights. Also got a couple of screws, no, nuts, a couple of nuts here. Uh, we'll find out what that is. But that's what I got. I think that's all we need. And I have the instructions, let me show you. So now I'm inside the car. I have the Acura installation instructions, which you can download online for uh, RDX 2015. So I'm gonna take it step by step. Everything that's on this list is what they sent me from a uh, parts dealer online. I also went ahead and bought on Amazon a little install auto trim removal kit. And I'll show you what it looks like inside. So inside the little box, you have a little tool that we're gonna be using to take uh, plastic panels and also the clips for the bumper. So it comes in handy, but I needed one anyway, so I went ahead and bought it. Very inexpensive, so we'll give it a try. First uh, order of business is to uh, remove upper column cover right there. So that's step one. So that's what I'm going to try to do, and I'm going to be using that little plastic string tool I showed you to remove that cover. So um, it's back here. There's not a lot of light, but I'm going to go ahead and remove it and I'll show you how it looks. First, I have to remove the uh, this cover, top cover. So I use this little plastic tool that I bought. Turn the steel wheel 90 degrees to one side first. And then you can squeeze it in here. There's a little opening. And then it, squeeze it in there and it'll pop it up. Then I'm going to turn the steering wheel. 180 the other way and do the same thing so I can take this off. I did the same thing. I used a little tool, pried it in right here, popped it right up. So mine just popped up as you can see, swung right open. I'm not sure what model you have. According to the instructions, it should have some other column band on the back. Mine did not. Mine just went right ahead and did, we did this and it swung right open. So that's what we have right there. So I'm gonna go to the next step and show you. Next step, you see this screw right here? I'm gonna be removing that screw. Just gotta have your steering wheel 90 degree counterclockwise. And then we'll take that screw off and then take this off. So now I turn the wheel on the other side and you can see there's another screw. I'll take that screw. I'm trying to take this lower plastic cover off per the instructions. Okay, so I took both screws and now there's one left, which according to the instructions, uh, there's a self-tapping screw on the bottom. And I'll get to that and remove that so we can take the lower uh, cover off. Okay, so I got the screw and I got this down. Now I'm gonna be taking the light switch off. I need to unplug it but the instructions do tell me to go ahead and disconnect the negative uh, cable from the battery. I'll go ahead and do that. I'm sure that's something most of you know how to do. So I won't show you that in the video. Just go ahead and do it and then we'll take this uh, and replace the light switch. Okay, so I'm not sure if you could see, there's two little clips, one clip here, one clip on the bottom, and then you gotta unplug this here and then the light switch comes right off. So the little clips on top, little clip on the bottom. Unplug it there. And that's the old light switch. Now I'm putting the new one, same thing. It has two clips, plug on the bottom. But this one does have a little one for the fog lights here to turn them on and off. And I don't know if you noticed, the old one does not, right? So we'll set that aside. I'll go ahead and do plug this sucker back in. So I got the new one in. 
Again, slip right in with the clips, connect it in the back. Now I'm just gonna put everything back together. I'm starting with the bottom, put that screw, and then finish off with the top with the clips. Um, actually, before the top, there's a couple screws on the side that I'll have to put. And then that's it. I'll show you when it's done. So I got this back on cover on the top and the bottom here's a new lever let's try it out lights work so we're good obviously this doesn't work yet because we're gonna be working outside and installing the lights and hopefully that's just as easy as doing this we'll see so the next step is taking this whole cover off this top cover as you can see in the instructions and I just took one clip there, and uh, I'm going to take this two clips here from the air duct. I'm using these little two tools. I use this, this little flathead and this little tool that came with my kit. Now this one doesn't reach in that good. So what I'm doing is I'm prying this up a little, and then I stick this in and pop it. And that way I don't break them. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these off um, without trying to break them. And I don't wanna buy any more. So here's, I lift it up a little. Then I stick this in. And then it comes right off. As you can see. And go ahead and do it. It doesn't look broken. Be able to pop these back in when we're done. All right, so next, instructions tells you to tape up your headlights or some part of it to the fender, left and right fender. Kind of did an okay job, I think, with the instructions. Uh, I'm not sure quite, not sure why we have to do that, but you know, we'll go ahead and figure out, go to the next step, see what's next. If you haven't figured it out already I've never done this before do-it-yourself kind of project but hoping to save myself about 300 bucks they wanted to charge me to install the lights so with some few tools I think I'll be able to do it so we'll see what happens so I got all the clips off uh, now I can take this cover off cover off Maybe I'll put it aside and give it a cleaning before I install it back on. And now the front. The fun part is removing that bumper, which is next, according to the instructions. According to the instructions, I got to remove uh, some clips on top. Ten clips on the bottom. Uh, two self-tapping uh, screws to remove the, the front bumper. I located some of the clips right here. Another one here, another one here. I think the bumper and the grill come off together. Then on the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and take those 10 clips off just the way I did with the cover. And then we should be able to remove the bumper. Let's go ahead and take the clips and everything off. I don't know if you could see, but they're underneath the bumper. These are where the clips are at, right there. And I already took off a couple of them, but this is where you'll find the clips. There's like nine of them that go across the bumper that need to be taken out, removed. So that's what I'll do. Screws, one on each side, and I took one of them on the side here if you can't find it. It's right underneath here. There you go, sucker. So I'm gonna take the other one, but that loosens up the, the bumper. So next is removing the clips that are on the side very carefully. I'm just prying it from here, from underneath. And that's kind of how I'm taking them off. There's three here and then three on the other side. And then there's some in the front. Never done this. Hopefully I don't break it. So far so good. Just doing it very slowly, carefully, learning as I go. So taking the clips you got these clips here, you kind of pull it up, 
I stuck my hand in here and with a little small screwdriver now I know why you have to have tape here and light and kind of just popped up the clips and if you can see so that way I'm able to take this off I'm gonna do the other side and then the bumper should come off try not to yank it because you could break it at least that's what I found out I yanked it a little too hard but I didn't break anything but I, I'll put easiest way just stick your hand in here so you can see the clips and then with a little small screwdriver just pop it up and then it comes off I'll do the other side see what happens hopefully it just comes right off the bumper off as you can see right there got it over there now I'm gonna be working on taking adding the lights there got a couple screws and I'll get to it in a minute but as, as I'll show you as you re are you removing it there's these clips right here that it's hooked onto all the way down here so once you release these two with the screwdriver you can pop these and then just lift it in and it comes right off and I don't think I did any damage to it looks pretty good let's see what's next so now I'm gonna be removing this uh, bezel it's got a screw there another screw here and little clips I'll take this panel off and then I'll do the same on the right and then that way we'll be able to install the uh, new left cover and uh, the fog lights itself so all right so I got the inner little cover off and I'm gonna put this one on nice and shiny that'll go on the other side it has a little bit of it has some clips right there and then I'm laying it down right perfectly there and then do the other side and that just snaps on with the clips so I finally got both of them on. There's one. There's the other. They just clip on right on the back. And so that's pretty much it. Okay, four clips. And now we're just gonna get ready to go to the next step. All right, so I got the fog lights in. Right here, you can see there's a screw there. Another screw there. No screw here, just something that holds it up. Same thing, something that goes inside. So only two screws need it. Got the cover, has the pins, has a screw. Same thing on the other side. Let me show you what it looks like with a fog light. So there it is. Got the other one also. So now I'm just gonna install it. So what's next, I need to, uh, there's three clips here for this fender there's one that was run there i don't know if you can see my hand there's three clips for this fender you want to remove them because you'll need to locate the wire uh, part of it so the the one pin connector that we need is right in there it's kind of dark let me see if i could find it here it is. It's right there. It's taped. So we'll remove that. And then we're gonna connect. We're gonna connect those wires. Connect it there. And then there's a ground also that we're gonna connect to the ground there. And then we're gonna pass the cable all the way to the other fog light. Alright, I'll show you when I remove that little one pin connector. You can see, I, if you see, I took this off. It has some black, it was stuck with some black tape. And it looks a little dirty, so I might clean it up. And that's gonna be connected to this. Uh, this is uh, also comes with a kit. And uh, this whole harness cable connects to the fog light. Now this is your left fender. I was looking for it on the other side, on the right, and I couldn't find anything. Not until I looked on the left, I should have read the instructions a little better. But there it is. It, it's taped up with black tape. 
uh, until it, you know you just gotta look for it but you'll see it underneath you gotta take this part of the fender uh, don't take it out but just move it on the side all right let me connect it see how it looks all right so i connected the harness if you noticed i got the ground where it's supposed to go right there i connected the ground i got the cable connected with that one pin cable and so now I'm gonna do use some tie wraps to connect the rest and throw this all the way to the other side and then I should be ready to put the bumper um, but before I put the bumper I kind of want to do a little test and see if it works before I start putting everything back together all right so I got it the wire connected I got this harness connected, the one pin cable, the ground, is it right there? And then here's the harness that's loose for the, if you can see it, for the left fog light. Then I put some tie straps all along the way. Then they give you some silver tape. You use that, run it all down through the bumper, all the way to the other side. Here, there's a clip, and you clip it on right here. And again, there's the right one. So, that's kind of how I did it with the instructions. You may find a little better way to do it but it kind of followed the instructions as best as I can that's how it looks before um, giving a test run and putting the bumper on I forgot that I need to put uh, a relay that came with the kit so I have to open the relay box and then I'm gonna put the relay where they want me to put it and then we should be then I'll put the bumper but I'm not gonna tie up the bumper, just uh, go ahead and temporarily put it on just so I could try on the lights. So I'll put the relay. Okay, so I got the cover from the fuse box. And if you notice, there's an empty space right there on the top. And that's where I'm gonna be putting my relay. Right there. It also, uh, the instructions gives you where to put it. But basically, if you notice, there's just one missing there on top and then I'll put the cover that should be it so I'm done as you can see the lights work well they look very nice but when you're putting the bumper you know just make sure that uh, all the clips are all the way in and that it's aligned correctly you may need a little help placing it back and once all these clips snap on and the ones on the side you, know, you can you know put the uh, Tapping screws that are under here. There's one here and one on the other side as well. Then you can start putting all the clips. Clips on top, clips on the bottom, uh, just as you took them off. And uh, that's pretty much it. There's uh, not much to it. Just read the instructions, a couple of tools you'll need. And if I could do it, I'm sure you can do it. I don't have a lot of knowledge on how to fix cars, and so I took a stab at it. Save myself a couple hundred bucks. All right. Hope your uh, installation goes well. And hope this video helps.